Welcome to World Defense Updates channel. We request you to kindly enable subtitles for this video and subscribe to our channel. Mach 30 wind tunnel will elevate China decades ahead in hypersonic race. Chinese media reports about a new wind tunnel coming up in Beijing that will put China decades ahead of the rest of the world in hypersonic technology have been refuted by technology experts as being outlandish and premature. The JF-22 wind tunnel, which Chinese physicists claim to have the capability of simulating flights at Mach 30, 23,000 miles per hour, or 30 times the speed of sound, is reported to start operations soon. SCMP quoted a Chinese Academy of Sciences researcher Han Gilai as saying in an online lecture that the hypersonic wind tunnel, located in Beijing's Huairu district, with its capabilities would put China about 20 to 30 years ahead of the West. According to Han, the tunnel would produce power of up to 15 gigawatts, nearly 70% of the installed capacity of the world's largest hydropower station Three Gorges Dam in China's southwest and Sichuan province. The JF-22, for example, uses chemical explosions to create hypersonic conditions in the tunnel unlike facilities in other countries, which use mechanical compressors to generate high-speed airflow. The fuel burns 100 million times faster than a conventional gas stove, generating shockwaves similar to those encountered by airplanes at hypervelocity in high altitudes. Han says that each plane or weapon model has to undergo 10,000 tests in the tunnel before being declared operational. Lens 2, considered the most advanced hypersonic wind tunnel in the US, according to Han, has simulated flights up to Mach 7, with the simulation lasting 30 milliseconds. Whereas the JF-22 has the capability to sustain such runtime for an average of 130 milliseconds, with a much higher top speed, he adds. However, according to a researcher and professor, Chris Coombs, an expert on hypersonics and aeronautical engineering, from San Antonio, the claims about the JF-22 hypersonic tunnel ignores the presence of a wide variety of decades-old facilities around the world. He says there are lots of different ways to get to Mach 20 plus, with several facilities present around the world that can do that. With that said, they can likely run that facility at lower Mach numbers for more defense-centric applications, he added. Most hypersonic test tunnels have existed since the Cold War to test space vehicles and missiles in the United States. NASA has built many such test facilities over the decades to study countless rockets and spacecraft that the space agencies sent to space. Combs says the article doesn't mention how they will handle the fact that a detonation-driven shock tunnel will alter the air chemistry to the point that the aero will no longer be representative of flight. According to Han, JF-22 will afford a longer experiment time than the existing test facilities currently operating in the world. Therefore, it can accommodate larger vehicles and the experiments can be more advanced than what existing tunnels can afford. This determines our leading position in the world, he claims. The launch date of JF-22 is yet to be released, however, it will work along with JF-12, an already operational test tunnel with about a fifth of the power output where the flight conditions at both lower and higher atmospheric altitudes are assessed. With the race over hypersonic vehicles hotting up, many countries are aggressively pushing for advanced test facilities that allow simulation at faster speeds. The test tunnels are the key to understanding the behavior of the atmosphere and its effect on the hypersonic objects as they whiz through it. Disclaimer, all the news and updates are curated from global media. Copyrights belong to respective owners. Email us for any occurrences of infringements. Original source Eurasiantimes.com